How's it going, everybody? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Let me make sure my I'm actually coming through. Okay, I am. Yeah, great. Uh, my name's Embers of August. I do Let's Play content on Twitch, YouTube, and Kick. And tonight, I'm going to be joining... Uh, well, I'm going to be joined by uh, the lovely Lady Dragon. He didn't come through all the way. <laughs> Here, go for it. Hello. There it is. Uh, she's going to be playing Fable with us. So the way we're doing this is she is making the decisions. Uh, I'm just the I'm just the grunt. You know, I'm just the button presser. You know, we we haven't really done a whole lot yet, have we? Didn't pick it up. <laughs> just punched a kid in the face. That's all we've done. Yeah, yeah, we did do that, and that's one of my favorite clips I've ever had on my channel. So that's that's pretty fun. Maybe we kicked a. We might have kicked a chicken. Yeah. We might have, um, but we'll have plenty of time to do those kinds of things. Tonight, we're going to be doing uh, part two, which um, starts with us getting uh, into Bowerstone, which is one of the first places in the game that you go to outside of the main guild, um, right after the main, after the beginning. So we did all the beginning earlier, well, at a previous stream, and now we're going to be doing part two. So, uh, you know, sit back, relax, grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a smoke, do whatever you want to do. Uh, and we'll be right back to start up part two. Are you excited? Heck yeah. Nice. Jesus. How, how, how did all of that sound like Mark <laughs> Oh no my way. god. There's no way. Die below the throes of my cars, you fucking heathens. Fucking Take this off. Take this on, and then I gotta put the glasses over it, right? So you guys can see the screen. There, dude. Fucking peak gameplay right here, bro. You wanna have a good base coat so that whenever you. Oh, I'm straight up dumb, dude. <laughs> Mommy Edie, there we go, dude. I mean, hear me out, hear me out. You know what I'm saying? Hear me out. Yes, it will be cold. I don't care. Yeah, but I usually go about like three or four beers before the school starts asking questions. <laughs> How about you come over here and swaddle me and change my diaper, then loser? If the stream goes down, I can't pay your mother child support anymore, dude. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? How are you guys doing this evening, dude? Hopefully, um, I'm gonna leave this up on the screen here. We're trying to figure out the mic settings. So I've got kick over here on the left. Uh, we'll be able to see everyone who wants to, you know, sort of talk to us in Twitch and YouTube is gonna be right above our heads. It should be, should be. You never know. You never know. Uh, but we should have everything set up to where we can talk to everybody. Yep, chat's gonna be right there. Let me bring that down a little bit right onto the top of my head. All right, perfect. Let's get some music going. We got uh, we got a little little funny, funky music to be playing over um, Fable. We'll see if we actually have their music as well. Like, I don't remember if we could actually mute that last time. That could or could not be a bad thing, but we'll see. Close Discord and get everything good to go. And here we are, dude. Excited. You're excited? Yeah. I can't remember last time. Um, last time we streamed this, we've been trying to stream for a while, but it's been kind of strange since we got back into the house. Um, but last time we actually streamed was probably like over a month ago. So, oh yeah, last played on oh. 8 16, so uh, August 16th. Exactly. Exactly three months ago. Oh, dang, I didn't even realize that. It's the uh, 16th today, isn't it? Damn. I'll, I'll drink to that. So, do you remember what happened last time? We finished the main opening quests. Um, I think we're now going to be, what, a teenager or a young adult at this part? Yeah, it's... So Fable moves kind of weird. Yeah. Um, I mean, you've played it before. I've played it before, obviously. We did choose Pie Master. You can't really see that beside my uh, my big ass like head right here, but we did choose Pie Master as our our name, and um, yeah. So 
you kind of progress your level every time you level, or your age, every time you level up a main stat in oh, this game. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, so you kind of start out as a young adult, like 16, 17, 18. But every time you add a point to like one of your main stats, your character technically gains a year. Okay. So when you're like late game, your character looks like old. You know, you get like white hair, you get scars, your, your skin gets really wrinkly, this weird texture on it. Which... Yeah, I remember the scars. I couldn't remember the aging process. I mean, how long has it been since you the game? Um, fully? For me, it's probably been like well over five years. Not even fully. Just when was the last time you you played Fable before we streamed? Yeah, so the last time I played Fable before we streamed was maybe like a year. Because I, I played through the first one, the second one. I was going to get into the third one, but then I kind of fizzled out. And then work's been kind of strange. So, you know. Yeah, I haven't played in seven years. Work's been a little strange for me. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, that's real fun. Uh, but we are going to be continuing. And we're going to be entering into Bowerstone. Which, again, is one of the game's major cities. Uh, one of my personal favorite cities. Um, it stays with the game through all of its iterations. It's one of the only places that stays with the game. Um... So we were at the picnic area last time, and I think we walked back to the main area, but we'll see. Um, yeah, yeah, no, we we had just left the picnic area. So there's like a little fishing spot right here in Fable One. The fishing spots have like treasures and stuff in them, but uh, all the other games you don't have to have the equipment; you just do things. And in three, you get a dog, which like does things for you. Um, but in one, you actually still have to have everything. I don't know if we got this old key down here, like we did. I gotta remember the key tier, because we're playing on Xbox. Uh, well, a controller. Alright. The, the okay. supreme way to play. Uh, left bumper seems to be how you pull out your ranged weapon. Right bumper seems to be how you pull out your melee weapon. So, yeah, we'll see how that works. Um... Oh, B is run, which what is kind interesting. Of combat do you prefer in this game, or what kind of weapon do you? Uh, so I actually prefer to use um, like charge attacks and stuff. I don't know if two lets you do that, or one lets you do that. Uh, we'll see. I can't remember honestly. Some of the mechanics of one are kind of lost to me. Um, but all right, hero. We're going into Bowerstone. And uh, I think pretty soon we're going to get into some combat uh, quests. Oi, yeah, we'll pick up a you're lot of new here, aren't you? Right? Yeah. We have some rules around here that you need to know about. I love, I love the guard has like no eyes. Bowerstone is a peaceful town. Uh, I'll have to confiscate your weapons for now. There are shops, inns, lots of different people, games, <laughs> all kinds of things. Why not pay the tavern a visit first? It's the building in front of you, just up the road from here. Oh, and keep an eye open Iconic, for Lady uh, tavern Grey. stumbling. Treat her with respect. She is the mayor, after all. What do you Have think about... Around and enjoy your stay in Bowerstone. It's just weird because like his nose looks way too tall for his eyes to be like his eyes would have to be like up here. But uh what do you think about Lady Grey? I forgot that she was the mayor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's the mayor in this game. Um some funny things happened to her between oh, now yeah. and then in the second game. Uh is this first game the one where you you do sculptures for her? Like, of yourself for her? Or is that the second game? I can't remember. Where you have to, like, hold a pose. Though. Oh, that might be this one. That might be this one. Uh, I think it takes place in another town that's pretty close to here. Um, but we'll see. Was Would we like to trade? Grey? It wasn't for Lady Grey, but I think there's a, a quest... I can't remember if it's this game or I'm, I'm kind of remembering something where you have to be like physical with her and I can't remember what that's about. I feel like that is, I don't think that's in the first game. 
I'll send these, I don't know. Send these it's weapons been a while. definitely behind my head here. Uh, obsidian, stuff like that. Plus 50. I mean, it's way better than the stuff we got. I think we're just working with an iron katana. Let's see. I I actually prefer heavy weapons. Do in most games. Yeah, yeah. Two handed weapons um, are kind of like a, a, my forte. I like. I don't mind slower combat if it means that I'm doing like a lot of damage. Yeah, a shitload of damage. Yeah. Um, for ranged weapons, I usually prefer firearms in the other games. In th right. in three, there's adaptive weapons. So like how you use the weapon changes the look and. The, the way that it works. Oh, that's really neat. I haven't played three. That's yeah. a cool um, dynamic. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get there. But uh, yeah, in three, like if you... What's up, Stitchy? How you doing? In three, if you hold power attack and like only do power attacks, your weapon becomes like a hammer. Like it becomes like a thing that you do. Uh, same thing with um, holding ranged, ranged attacks. So if you're just like firing off, you your weapon becomes like a like a like a a pistol. Oh. It's like got rev like a revolver basically, so you can like shoot multiple rounds. If you hold down attack in three with a range weapon, it becomes like a shotgun. Oh wow. So you're doing like a shitload of like base level damage, but you lose range. You yeah, know? that'll be interesting once we get to the third game. So I definitely want the steel longsword, but it's about four, 14 or 16 more gold. I don't know why it keeps freezing for me. Be right back. Interesting. Uh, yeah, let us know if it's something that we're doing. We can definitely, uh, oh, we have a shitload of things to sell. We got a, a longbow, which I think we're gonna get rid of in, in lieu of the crossbow. Crossbow is slower, but it does more damage. So, you know, I'll work combat and stuff like that. But, uh, what have you decided what kind of character we're gonna play as? Are we gonna be evil? Are we gonna be like, you know, are we gonna be a, a lovable huckster? Uh, are we gonna be like straight good? I mean, what do you what do you think so far? I don't know. Feeling like chaotic good vibes. It's chaotic good. Right? I don't I don't know what that means as far as fables concerned. <laughs> I don't either. It's a pretty funny kind of like game. <laughs> So we'll see. All right, so I think we got enough to get that steel. Neutral to good. I'm not. I'm not great at playing like very evil characters, especially a game like this where it's very silly. Right, right, right. No, I get what you're saying. I get that. That makes sense. Well, that master axe looks really good. Uh, we we don't have enough money for that. It's just, we'll just we'll stick with the long sword. Um, right. E. Do it. Let's do that. Um, I didn't even think about what kind of ranged weapons. They have. Oh well. Please note that weaponry is not allowed in this town. Your new weapon will be held until you leave. Oh. Well. That sucks. Um, Maze. We had so we had to go meet Maze, right? Uh, who is sort of like our? I don't want to say mentor, because I feel like the guild master's our mentor, but he's like the guy that's, uh, that's like teaching us. What do you call someone that teaches things? Yeah, I would assume <laughs> that the word would be teacher, yes. Oh shit! What just happened? Um, just uh, I just vandalized like and now we have a right in front of, uh, uh, I don't have enough gold. What ha oh. Oh. <laughs> You've been fined 168 gold and kicked out of the area. All Dude, the gold. All of the gold. We have we have zero gold. Um ah. So that didn't go well. Uh You have to stop accidentally punching. It's I think it's gonna be a theme here because I can't uh, 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 figure out the controls. I can't figure out the controls, so we're gonna have a couple of uh of, of, of issues here right at the very beginning. Hopefully we can get back into Bowerstone. I've never been kicked out of Bowerstone. Oh! I don't have any gold. What are you doing? You? I guess I gotta go find some gold and come back. I don't know. Play Fable without ever going into Bowerstone. Dude, Fable, no Bowerstone run. <laughs> well, 
a fart at this town. <laughs> we'll be back, guard. Should we hit him? Where are you? No, we no. shouldn't. We shouldn't hit him. No, no. Where was, are uh, we even gonna get gold from? You know, it's a great question, but I know that there's um. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Never messed up a game this early on. <laughs> I've never messed it up this bad either. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think if we go, this is like the Great Wood. Yes, Great Wood entrance. Oh, we got little feet coming under the door. Yeah. Over there. It's a oh, there we go. Here we go. I'd stay down if I were you. Oh shit. Game over, Reload you have died. Damn. So maybe, uh, maybe Great Wood is too high level for us right now? Nah, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh no. I'll just be a, an archer real quick. <laughs> okay, I hit that guy who's got a melee weapon. Oh shit. I think I got this guy. I think he's dead. Oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. Your health is low. Do you have any potions? Guildmaster, it's not the time, bro. Oh, I just got some gold. We gotta get 86 of these fucking things? Oh my god. Isn't there a line that he says just repeatedly about like building up the combo? Oh, try to get your combat multiplier even higher. But it's like every five seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Combat. No, no. It's, um, yes. Yeah, it's very annoying. Do you think maybe they changed that for Fable Anniversary? Uh, or do you think they like I don't know. That That's there? a good question. We'll have to see. Um, there is a demon door. In this game that you gotta find, oh, a piercing augment. It would be great to attach it to our weapon, but I don't know if we have a slot for it. Uh, I'm gonna eat a pie, and we're gonna gain some weight. Are the pie master? Wait, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> um, okay, so let's look at our gold. Why does it say we have no gold? Wait, we have five gold. Where at? Where do you see that? Oh, bottom left. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Well, damn, it looks like there's, um, on the map up there, there's, like... Oh, I don't like that. What? Why is that doing that? Oh, my God. Oh, they shot their own guy. What a dumbass. Just, uh, just look for the outlaws. Oh, my God, what the hell are these? These scorpions? Yeah. I don't remember scorpions in this game. I don't remember them in this game, either. We gotta, like, I'm, like, trying to find... God, we gotta kill her. I think she might be, be, be like, about to kill us, actually. Okay, we got that guy. Where's that nymph at? Is that her? Okay, there she is. Uh, let's do this. Your health is low. You have oh gosh, more food. <laughs> okay, I got her. Your health, oh, dude. I don't know what we're gonna do. Cause, uh, cause we kind of, we kind of, okay, I say we lightly here, but, uh, <laughs> oh, she's just going to attack us right off the bat, huh? Well, don't go any further. Don't, can you, it looks like the rest of them are dead now. So just get her, do you think it's possible? We'll it's see. Possible. We'll see. I think I got her. I think I got her. And now just the scorpion? Yeah, which isn't that bad, all things considered. 
Looks like we got... You good? Your health is low. Do you have any potions or food? Okay, okay, okay. I think that was it. I think that was it. I think we got him. Because we opened... Oh, we didn't open this. Did it just despawn them? So we don't have five gold? <laughs> Oh, you saved to the last. To oh, the last no. What do you. No gold. God dang it. Okay, I think what we gotta do is this. Can we load to where we started? <laughs> so I think I we may really, have broken the game. I really hope so. Uh, was there, it 36? 1608. 1608? Oh, okay, gotcha. That looks like it's five minutes after this last one. We'll do it again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're going to we're gonna have to redo this. You broke Fable. Yeah. Well. This is this is how those old games are. Do they just punish you? Like, if you uh, if you kind of, like, step out of line, you know? It, how dare you not do the main quest? It definitely would have you know? been a time to, like, reset the save file and... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Start all over from the beginning. 100%. It very disheartening. Did we do it? Okay, no, I know. We gotta stay focused. We must stay focused. Alright. So, I'm gonna try and skip this cutscene since we've already seen it. It's just us going into Bowerstone. And not <laughs> And not. Property. Yeah, okay. Yes, and not vandalizing property. Oi! You Skip scene. Got him. Did you hear that? That guard knew us. He was probably saying that the second you hit that barrel of Don't time. do anything illegal if you're being so kind. Smash. Okay. I'm gonna have to sell my weapons and shit again. This guy just put his weapons out. Look at this. He's going through the animation. Hello. Does he not? Can I not talk to him? Can I? You're not a. Maybe he's not the merchant? Maybe he's. No, the... he's the merchant, Alvin the blacksmith. Oh. Well done. You got the wasp. I oh, would have helped, but, um, well, I, um. Oh, okay. Thank you, Alvin. Can I buy stuff from you? Doing? When did you get a wasp? I killed the wasp queen last, last time. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alvin? Oh, he's put, oh, okay. I gotta wait till he puts all his wares out manually. Look at that. Swords, Look at that. Oh, see? And then, yeah. Bird. He can't say swords, axes, and shields unless he physically puts out a sword, an axe, and a fucking shield. I can't remember. The list is too long. He's like, swords, and... And he just, like, looks at his hands. <laughs> Alright. Um, so we're going for the steel longsword again. Yeah. I think so. And then... We'll sell this iron katana. Because I didn't think about that last time. Alright. So... Equipment. You want to save now? <laughs> no, no. See, you got. See, you're you're trying to outsmart the game. I would have helped, but um, well, I. There are 19 witnesses. Should we? Should we? Uh, should we boast? Get some reputation in the town. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Sorry, okay, I so what it was asking. that's one. Now you gotta find them. See, in this, in like, oh, in the old right. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, Mace. I'm going to go show off now. Yeah, 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 look at that. Behold, I have a wasp head. And there's a timer. Like, if you don't right. do it in a certain amount of time, you don't, like, lose reputation. You just but you don't, don't gain the maximum the reputation. Does this motherfucker gotta try? Oh shit. Well, right now, you're just trying to be the best. So, you'll be fine. Yeah, I guess. But I want the full 19 here, so... We're gonna try and go for it. Oh, two right there. Oh, there's two. Oh, oh my nice. god. Two I'm just gonna leave. Why? Their, their box has exploded. Oh. She didn't count. I uh, know she didn't count. Are there any peasants over here we're supposed to be showing off to? Let's do it. Oh god. Shit. <laughs> do not like that sound. Time's up. Oh, but you got eleven people, right? Yeah, but I think it. I think we didn't get any. Uh, 
My current best is three. So he didn't count because we didn't get him. So maybe you should do a more visible one first. Maybe one that like only five people around. Well, uh, try again. Uh, we're doing it. We're, <laughs> we're doing it live. All right. That was five. Five kids right here. They just saw me. Six. Oh my gosh. Yes. That boo sound you're talking about? Yeah. Well, th that mixed with like the cheers of everyone in the area when you do it. Oh god, this is a kind of a hard one right here. I don't know if I can. Uh... That's seven. But I mean, we got 18 of these mofos. Yeah, you got five at once, but they were way. Yeah, but they were kids. I don't know who got that one, but uh. Maybe you start in town, get all of them, and then run to the schoolhouse. Can't keep fucking. Well, I could, I could, but. Yeah. There's five yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. Can I have a lovely tanker? Can I have a lovely tanker to Right there. Off. Explode your fucking box right now. Oh, when you get more of the timer goes back up. I didn't realize that. Yeah, a little bit. Let's see. Um, is there anybody in here? Hello. Okay, yep, oh. yep, 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 yep. I think there's gonna be one guy in here. One Let's do it. Oh no. Oh no, hero. Run to go back outside. I don't know what to do. Who's the last person? See, it can't be this person up here because this is a guard. Oh god. Did you get the lady? Like, I don't even. Oh. oh my god. You beat your high score, but you earned uh, 140 renown. 140 you know, renown's pretty good. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Okay. Now we're not gonna break any boxes, but we're gonna go to. The key. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do it again. There are no people, but this supposed to be an old lady right here. Hole? Okay, I just got a whole ass chicken. Oh! Yeah, you can eat them. You can eat them. That's right. Oh, oh my god, I kicked the shit out of that chicken. Oh, damn it. Don't go throwing those fists around. <laughs> you, the fists of fury, dude. Real people, there's a guy right there. Hello there. I oh, don't fuck. think you've met my daughter, have you? She's rather lovely, if I say so myself. Though a bit fussy. This is what your dad told me about you, too. Yeah. I was waiting for that joke. She's rather lovely, if a bit fuzzy. Okay, so YouTube and Twitch kept Why freezing. Why fuzzy? F oh, fuzzy. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, sometimes. Uh, so I'm gonna give this a shot over here a little. What's up, Stitchy? Welcome to Hi, Kick, Stitchy. dude. And it just froze? What the hell's going on, I wonder? That's strange. Um, yeah, the stream seems to be doing okay. Yeah, everything's smooth on our side. She's keen to meet strong, handsome men like you. He didn't say that. He didn't say that about you. Um, Beardy, oh, okay, Beardy I'm so Bali. sorry. I'm so, I'm sorry. I thought that he was gonna say that her name, do you want to meet Beardy, Beardy Baldy, Baldi. Like my daughter? I thought that's what it said. I don't know. There was, a, there was a joke I was gonna say, ah, but I'm not gonna do that one. That's good news. I think she was starting to get a bit lonely. <laughs> Oh God. The thing is, she only looks men whose hair looks like the picture on this car. I see, I see. Isn't that the hair you have? Oh no, it's longer than No, that. that is a pudding basin, it says. Maybe if you look like that. Come and find me when you're mm. ready. Maybe if you look like that, my ugly daughter would like to see you because you'd be ugly too. Are you gonna get the haircut? I guess we have to. I mean, isn't it technically a quest? I guess it's my choice, so get the haircut. Oh, yeah, it is your choice. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, fine, I guess we'll Let's go to... meet Beardy Baldy's daughter. Well, what are we going to do with ourselves if we... if we if... What if she's an absolute stunner? What do we do? Uh, bonus? I don't know. Be excited. Heard. Okay. 
Stitch you over there on Punch her in the face? I don't know. Is that like your normal MO? <laughs> Bro, I almost choked on this fucking ice. You want me to punch her in the face? That's what you've done with everything. I mean, you know. You're looking for love in all the wrong places if you- Oh! <laughs> I stuck that motherfucker right, right on top of the thing! How much- how much money you think houses in here are worth? Should we get some- some real estate? Do oh. you still have zero coins? Marital home, 1500 gold. Um, yes, I still have zero. Then I don't think we need to worry about real estate. We can't even pay our bounty if you- <laughs> if you vandalize something again. Current best is 17? I thought my current best was 8. That's what you- Alright, we're going again. That's four. What a rubbish hero. Oh. God. What exactly, a rubbish hero. Exactly something a child would say. Jesus. The you there, people. Look at my wasp queen head. Oh, fuck. You should just stay outside and only stay on the first floor. I think buildings. so. Yeah. First floor of buildings, you have to go into a building. Oh, you know what? They're probably all outside because it's like getting later in the day and the stores are closed now. Look at that, dude. I think I'm gonna get it. Oh my god. Maze? I, yes, I think I did. Three or four? Three right there. Three right there. Let's see. That was a key. Oh shit! I don't want to do that. <laughs> Fist of Fury. Wonderful. No, I just can't help it, and I don't know what to do about this because uh, maybe they're in the tavern, like up. I think they have to physically be in a line of sight of me. I don't know what to do about that. Oh, I did see uh, a card game in there. We could probably play and get some money. Don't break any bonds. Time's up. Oh well. Is that the outlaw's refuge? This cellar door is locked, it says. Don't punch them! I already broke the other boxes, nothing bad happened. Because no one saw you. Okay, so now people have to be looking at me, huh? I think so, right? Isn't that how this game? I think so too. Oh, they clap for that guy. Listen, Maze. <laughs> what do we got here? Card pairs. Oh my god. Wait. What's your fancy? What do you think we should do? You think we should bet it all? No. You don't think we should? <laughs> Tessa says, "Holy shit! Is it the?" Is it the TV William? Yes, it's TV William. We're gonna wager all of our money on a game I can't remember how to play. Let's see what happens. All right, Arrow. Absolutely speechless. <laughs> oh, it's just matching. Chef Willard. You just have to do it quickly. Oh, I think there's a six down here. Oh, that's a 10. 10. Oh my god, dude. Chef Willard, fuck, hello. Hey, what's up, Tessa? How you doing, dude? See, I told you, look at that. We got all of our money back. Should we do it again? Oh, a Briar Rose Hero doll. I'm gonna do it again. Or do you display them in your home? What do you do with a doll? I don't know. I can't remember. If I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, we're gonna bet it all again. What do you think? I guess, Oops. as long as you don't run out of time. You keep it. You keep it. You keep an eye on my time. Okay. You have forty seconds. Just make the make the pairs. Oh my god. A beer if you don't mind. Can I have a lovely time for a oh, beer? It'd be nice. Mmm. Thanks. 
so much. Oh my god, you can't stop me, dude. You, you literally can't stop me. Have a nice day, won't you, sir? I am okay. Worked on my zombies map a good bit, playing the ever loving fuck out of Lies of P. Dude, Lies of P. Lies of P is every time I say that I'm not gonna piss on the toilet seat, and then I go to the bathroom anyways. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Lies of <laughs> says, uh, I wonder if it's gonna let us keep doubling down on this shit, dude. It's only 40 seconds. Not bad. Not bad at all. A decent bit of time. All right, you keep your fucking lies of peeing in this. Can I have a lovely tankard of foaming beer? Okay, I got you. And then she's gonna be there. Oh my god, no, he's gonna be there. She's gonna be there. Come on, dude. And then there's a three right there. Oh, wait, no, it's right there. Yes. And then a four, a two, oh, an eight. No. Lies of pee because I pee on all the bosses. Hmm. You know, I once tried to pee on my boss and I didn't get anything for it. Maybe your restraining order? Well. <laughs> so we're, we're at 100 and, we're at 1896 right now. That's a good year. Yeah, please. That's a good it's year. It's way better than the zero we had for, you know, the whole time until we reset the game. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Oh, it'll only let you go to a thousand. Was it a good year? Yeah, I think it was. 1896? Let's, uh, let's do the old, uh, do the old, uh, Google. Google search. Let's see. What happened in 1896? Uh, the Yaki Uprising in Arizona and Mexico. Hmm. What else? What major event happened? The opening ceremony to the 1896 Summer Olympics. Which were in Athens, Greece. We're in Athens, Greece. Uh, the National Farm School, Late Delaware. Okay, whatever. Um, what important event happened in 18... Not 86, come on, bro. What was created in 1896? Uh, the streetcar. Uh, the typewriter, telephones. Interesting. 1890s. What century was 1896? Come on, dude. 1896. Oh, Wikipedia. Sweet. And you know what's, what's cool about this Wikipedia tab is that unlike every other Wikipedia tab I've been on recently, it doesn't ask me for money. Yeah, Wikipedia, I guess, is being is being like in the process of being sold, and they've been asking for money for like two years straight. Okay, so they've yeah. been asking for money for like ten years straight. Well, they okay. asked me for money like a month ago. When oh, I yeah, look, Utah out. is admitted as the forty fifth state. Let's pull up Tess over here so we can get her live reaction. Motherfucker isn't in dark mode. Pain my eyes. Yeah, sorry. Um, let's see. So we got uh, Utah is admitted into the forty fifth as the forty fifth state. The Cecil Rhodes, uh, fourth, fourth Anglo Ashanti War. British redcoats entered the Ashanti capital. The X-ray machine. Uh, yeah, yeah, the X-ray machine. Oscar Wilde's Salome. Uh, La Boheme by Puccini. World's first magazine with an orientation to homosexuality. Oh, there you go. The first gay magazine. Uh, Adolf Brand in uh, in Berlin. Adolf. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, New York State Legislature passes the Reigns Law. What the hell is Reigns Law? Also known fuck as... Fuck yeah, Tessa. <laughs> fuck yeah, gay magazines. Yeah. Um, John Reigns adopted... Okay, cool. The men didn't, didn't say what it was. In April, you get the first study of the sensitivity of global climate to atmospheric carbon dioxide is published. Could you imagine... During 1896, you're only like 40 women are hot, and I'm not going to lie. I also believe that. Um, the, the, could you imagine Same, Tessa. Same. Eight, 1896, you know, you're like less than half a century away from the end of the Civil War. And people are like, like you st your uncle or your grandfather probably is missing half his fucking body and his lower jaw from being in the Civil War. And motherfuckers are like, but climate change. What's up, Alan? How you doing, dude? We're currently reading a Wikipedia page we were, for the yeah, year 1896. 1896. <laughs> um, first edition of the Italian sports, La Gazette del Sport. Hmm. Uh, let's see. The, the Warwick, Yorkshire. 
That's a still standing county champion. A still standing county championship record, dude. From 1896, they haven't been able to beat that shit in like 200 years. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see that was Plessy. Sorry. I I I thought it was a different word. Okay, I'm not gonna say it. First known women's basketball game. There you go. Franchise oh, bill yeah. is passed. The Maddest War. Yep, the Ford Quadricycle. There you go. Um, in July through September, you got uh, delivers the Cross of Gold speech. Nice. I'm doing a case supposed to start a vacation. Kids going to the grandparents, but Chloe is sick, so plans cancel. What the hell, dude? How'd she get sick? Um, founded in former the the Park Sung Jik shop. As predecessor of South Korean conglomerate enterprises, Doosan Group, founded in former Kingdom of Korea. You got a railway act. You know, it seems like it was a pretty good year, Tessa. You know, I'm seeing like uh, July 30th and August. What? What'd you see? Atlantic City rail crash shortly after 6.30 p. We're going to keep, we're not going to, we're not going to, we're not going to look at that. It was a good year. I'm not, I'm stand by. It was a good year. Also, Sprach Zarathustra um, is performed in Frankfurt. That's a great uh, that's a great performance, you know. I don't know if you were uh, around during 1896. It was it was the best of years, it was the worst of years. Um let's let's we got to look at it. Uh killing 50 seriously injuring approximately. <laughs> Will is a lit confirmed or Yeah, I was part of the railway you know, the Uganda Railway Act. Um I just got Vitilago. Uh let's see. Two trains collide, crushing five loaded passenger coaches. <laughs> well, and then August the eighteen ninety East Coast okay, North I'm, America heat I'm wave not, kills 1,500 people. Yeah, this one was way worse right there. Vitilago. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Uh, Illinois to Boston, Massachusetts. That's crazy. That's a huge amount of, of, of space. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Vitilago. Yeah, I bet you had to look that up, Tessa. I bet you had to look that up to spell that right. What happened, Alan? What's going on? Yeah, what happened to Chloe? How'd she get sick, dude? Was that one of the first x-rays? That might be it. The Röntgen x-ray machine. Can you imagine seeing bones for the first time? Dude, yeah, could you imagine? (laughs) Could you imagine the first guy who ever turned on the x-ray and he just gets fucking spooked? He's like, ah! There's a skeleton in there! There's a skeleton in there! (laughs) (laughs) Spooky scary x-ray. Queen Victoria surpasses her grandfather, King George III, as the longest reigning monarch in British history. Yeah, could you imagine how spooky the first x-ray was? I'm not about it. I do wonder, like, the process of discovering... Okay, we've gone on an ADHD rabbit Okay, but let's be honest. For people who are watching right now, what do you think they put in the x-ray first? If if I was gonna put something in an X ray, oh, no. what do you? Th- I mean, you know, might as well. If I really care, it's the guy's foot, or or it's his wife's hand. Oh yeah, it's his wife. Well, I'm assuming that it is, unless she's some sort of mongoloid with mind with enormous toes. Yeah, that's probably uh, that's it right there. That's the first X ray. Um, but yeah. And that's also a massive, if I really care, it's a, if I remember correctly. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. If I really care, I don't care. Uh, but look how fat the skin tissue is around that finger. Like, that's pretty far up, you know? If we're looking, like, right here, the ring sits right there. The webbing for the finger is, like, right there at the bottom of the joint. Why is that ring so far up? Plenty of... Like, she's sick, really tired after we picked her up from preschool, and then she started throwing up. They tried to use x-rays to see if they could capture souls leaving the body, so they were scanning people as they died. Bruh, you're an idiot. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Are you going to tell me that that's not actually a ring right there? All I'm saying is, uh, you didn't even know if this was a foot or not. So, who's the real idiot here? All right, back to back to Fable, all right? <laughs> we went a little far. So we only able to, to do a thousand gold. So eighteen ninety six was a good year. Eighteen ninety six was a good year. Okay. 
we've okay. we've we've established, established that. that you? Yeah, there were some bad things that happened, but you know. Overall. Overall. Oh my god, I'm just absolutely killing this right now. As I immediately pick a card that's not a card that I need. What the fuck is going on? I started losing it. Better get it back. Oh shit. Got 20 seconds, Oh, I see. There it is. Hurry up. And hi Tessa, how are you? What is this game? This game is uh is a uh, fable. We're playing fable right now, but I'm just farming money. I believe it's called memory. I believe it's you called are memory. Correct. Actually, in this game, it's called card pairs for some. Yeah, I know. It's called reason. it's called fable. It, what is fable? What is fable? And I'm the idiot, Tessa. Fable is a um, an old, well, not old school, I wouldn't say, um, but it's an older. It's an older RPG. I'm the child. Remember? No, I think you're like a full grown uh, something. Let's see, ten and ten, right? Oh my God, it's right there. Uh oh. Oh, get it, dude. Now. Oh my god, bro. Three, 39.3, dude. Fable is one of the most overhyped games ever made. Not, not true. Not true. Fable is one of the best franchises ever created that had a really shitty third installment. As someone that wasn't playing video games at the time that this game came out, because I never played games until I was an adult. Really. Um, Speak up. I did not know there was any hype around this game. <laughs> yeah, so, just told so me basically, it it's a, it's a, it's not really an old school RPG. It's sort of like an old school action adventure game that has RPG elements. Um, more so, it's an RPG than I would say Skyrim is an RPG. Like Skyrim is definitely not an RPG, um, but this game ticks that box a little bit better than Skyrim does, in my opinion. Skyrim not an RPG. Skyrim's not an RPG because none of the things you actually do matter in that game. And so, like, I feel like, uh... One second, I'm talking and not doing my thing. I just had to Google it, yeah. Dude. The amount of Let's things promised and what was delivered for Fable was pretty disappointing for its time. Yes, yeah, you're absolutely correct, Alan. I, I agree with that. What uh, kinds of things hey, are promised Mr. at the time? Do you have any hero, dog? Do I have yeah. any hero? Yes, I do. Oh my god, this kid's screaming at me, dude. What do you do? Hey, Alan, tell me what to do when a kid's screaming in your face. I don't know what to do about that. What I did last time was I punched one in the face. I did. I, I punched it right in the face. There's a clip of it. Because it's so rare. There are seven we were both noises. mortified, but it's okay. Get them all. Please go and see um, it's just cracking. Like I could hear it like ripping my ears apart. Get back to school now. Bye. Put them in their room and slam the door in their face. Oh, okay. You have uh, listen, kid. Should we do what? it? Huh? Yeah. What? Did you say? Um, it said I had reached subpar. Uh, something. Sorry, there was like background people it was a talking bunch of shit going and the, on. yeah, like five people Best talking. Prices. So the thing about Peter Molyneux for the time is like this game was contending with the Gothic series, uh, which was put out by another company, German studio. Um, the amount of things that games like this were doing at the time, which this looks exactly like every other game. If you look at Risen, you look at Gothic, you look at Fable, you look at, um... God, there's one more that I have liked to play, but I can't remember it. Games like this are very common for that time. And this one came out, I believe, in 96. Was when Did this it? one, yeah, was when this one was, was, was created. Was born. Was born. Uh, I'm gonna buy this house, because, we, you know, I said we were going to. I'm gonna rent it out immediately and make some more money. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Alan is correct. There was a lot that was promised for this game. Fable 1 is 2004? 
Yeah, I was gonna say there's it. no way this was ninety six. I'm 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 we're doing it live, dude. It's Well now it says two thousand five. What the hell was that? That's it says more. I just spit on the screen. Uh, yeah. So for so Lionhead Studios, you know, they Peter Molyneux likes to open his mouth and just vomit words to people. Um, he's one hundred percent the reason why like Fable has not had. Uh, I see why Will likes this game. What? Do you, why? I don't understand. Um, it's just action adventure, you know. He can play out his fantasies of having money. Dude. Dude. You're right. You're right. That hurt. But you're right. Uh, and, you know, it, it has a pretty good story. Fable 1, 2, and 3. The stories are... <laughs> I did 3 like this. The stories are all good. Um, you can get unlimited money starting with an apple. Yeah. Uh... If you're trying to break the game as a min-maxer, like I'm sure Alan would be doing, uh, yes, the game is super broken on mechanic standpoints, but I, but the whole point of like an action-adventure game is not to just fuck with the mechanics, it's to fuck with the story, and the story of these games is actually really good. Uh, so like, yes, at any game, if you pull it apart, is completely fucked at its core. <laughs> like. Yeah, I watch a I watch a YouTuber called the Spiffing Brit who literally just rips games apart like hundreds of videos he has. Oh yeah, yeah, he's very very hard. Walk away very, from very loud. Um, Walk away from the child. The Spiffing Brit is great. Yeah, he's great. But uh, yeah, the the story is you know you start as a as a child who's growing up in a place called Oakvale. Um, Bandits attack your town and you have to go find. Uh, you, have to, you basically get kidnapped by the Guild of Adventurers, right? The, this Heroes Guild. Um, you start as a child, yeah. Yeah. But um, every year of your life in, for the rest of the game, so like right now we're like teenager, late teenager, 16 to 20 is, right, is about where you're at. But every major skill point you get adds a year to your character's life, Okay. So the more you get knocked out or the more you die or the more you get hit, you get physical appearance changes and things like that. So like, if you add one point to strength, you gain an age. If you add one point to will, you gain an age. If you add one point to skill, you get an age, okay? That's how it works. And then based on your physique or all this other stuff, um, you, you end up making a character that is a true RPG element, which like for its time, there were not any other games that did that. At least well, not any other games that I played. I Alan probably knows some other games that did stuff like this, but I don't know of any other game that you were able to see a, a, a physical progression on, on your character. It's not just you choose to be a swordsman or you choose to be uh, Tanner7777. Ah! Kidney reset protocol. I'm gonna cool it down with this ice. I don't care. I want dream. ice. Ew, ice. Agreed, yeah, well, Tessa. you know, Agreed. Tessa. Um, if I had any money, uh, I would I would have other drinks in the house, but I just got these ices because you can get sixteen of them for like five dollars. I think my favorite way that your character changes throughout the game is that like anytime you die you get a scar and so if you spend a lot of time dying in the game by the time you're an old character you are just covered in visible scars i like that one water is almost free what about normal water tanner says tanner you don't get a body like this drinking water dude Okay. You have a water bottle right next to you. I do, I do. But if I pull this on the screen, they're gonna they're gonna diss me for having no money and buying smart water. Or the same way water, I okay? diss you for so, buying that kind you know, of water. It, it, it's full of <laughs> Yeah, buddy, you got that sooty belly. <laughs> Alright, May is fine. Been enjoying all the attention, have you? Yes. I heard about your encounter with the wasp. Oh, the fuck about the fancy water. Most of Bowerstone is talking about it. That's why you have but, no money. Um, you shouldn't let that kind of thing go to your head. Uh, anyway, that's not why I called you here. You see, 
The there core water is not even the bad one, Tessa. Like the Fiji water, chariot. there's some kind of Icelandic well, water that we end up with. How much do you oh. remember of the night I took? You, like had <laughs> you told oh, someone you had vodka Oakfell. in your circle? Not yeah. much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole All family. I'm saying is, technically, and, and I have a circle bottle as but well, it seems there may have been but technically the circle bottle is more expensive than any other robot. thing you could just and put no way to be water in, I thought you should because know. the and idea the around Make sure you circle that is that I'm going to drink hand. water unless I have these little pods that I put in my circle bottle, which I have to have Check shipped to me. Paying for the circle cue for the for the circle thing and shipping and I have to wait to use my circle bottle until I get more of those things. That's the most nerd thing I have ever heard. Uh four four out if how many points? What? Four out of how many points? Four out of how many points? Oh the people that work with have a four in intelligence. Yeah, is it a, is it a four out of five? That might not be bad. That might not be bad. Uh, if it's a four out of like 20, I mean, that's still a fifth. That's still a fifth, dude. That's still a fifth. Four out of 20. Yeah, Tanner sure would put four and 20 together, wouldn't it? Heard. Smokey! <laughs> and Tessa says, one of the kids just went ran past me and said, Oh, Pie Master eating all the pies. I really hurt. do like the titles in this game and the fact that people actually call. Yeah, so like again, it's not just written, but that it ends up coming up. So there's sort of a, an overarching thing that you find out that you're like wrapped up in, um, with this franchise. Two and three have a little bit of a better, uh, like fantasy aspect to them, but one, well, okay, wait. Two and three have a better industrial aspect to them. One has a fantasy aspect, is what I was going to say. In two and three, the world has progressed another 200 years. And then three, it's it's even more so. Like, your character in, in everything that you do in one, it, or they're dead. And you have, you have built this kingdom to be better than it was. In two, it's not steampunky. Three is more steampunky. Two is like industrial revolution. Um, think like... Uh, right around the turn of, you know, it, Europe getting gunpowder and like figuring out the, the, like a, the stock weapons and stuff like that. Yeah. So, and then three goes even crazier. Like I said, three, you have magical weapons. I was talking about this earlier, but in three, um, more so than two, one and two in one and two, you have weapon variants, you know, you have in one, you have the katana, you have a, an axe, you have a long sword, you have a broad sword, you have a great axe, great hammer, war pick, and a regular axe, okay? Those are melee weapons. In, you know, the range department, you've got a bow or a crossbow, and that's it in one, okay? So it's like a light fantasy, mostly medieval. Yes. Just around the turn of, you know, gentrification and, and everything that's like, um, or sorry, the gentry coming inside of, uh, you know, um, yeah, crossbow's OP. I love the crossbow. The only, only range weapon I'm going to use this playthrough. But uh, in two, you start getting, you know, single shot pistols that have to be reloaded, single shot rifles that have to be reloaded. Um, you've got a little bit better melee weapons as well. A little bit more, you know, stocky. Uh, in three, though, magic, which is really cool about this, in one and two, Magic is okay, but magic is not, like, a thing that you're going to just be. Like, you're not just going to be a mage in any of the Fable games. If you're just a mage in any of the Fable games, you will not have a good time. Because combat comes at you from, like, all these different angles and all these different enemy types that you need all of your, your you know, your weapons and everything to do. In, in 3, magic has progressed, and they found a way to uh to meld magic into everyday life so it's you know they, they have like rail cars and uh steampunk ships and like all this other shit because they've been able to like use 
Kind of, kind of, yeah. Like, think uh, Bioshock Infinite, though. Where it's like, yeah, it's the civil, like, the right after the Civil War, turn of the 19, 1900s, you know. But we've got, like, floating cities and shit. Same thing with 3. But in 3, you have adaptive weapons. So how you use them in 3 changes what they actually do. So, like, if you're just hitting the attack button, like, X, 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 your magical sword will become a katana eventually. And you'll do, you'll, like, you know, sw swipe faster. If you're parrying a lot, it becomes, like, uh, a saber or it becomes, like, a fencing weapon. If you're using power attacks, it can change into, like, a great axe or a fucking hammer. Same thing with your range weapon. In 3, if you're just shooting, your pistol will become a revolver. If you're, you know, dodging and firing, it'll become like a sniper rifle, right? Uh, and then, on top of that, I found an IGN guide from 2004. You found a guide on how to play the game as a pure magic build. Like, again, it's not recommended that you do it. You have, you can, you can, I'm sure you can find a guide out there, Alan. Like I said, Alan's the min-maxer. But, you know, in, in 3, if you hold down your weapon and do power attacks with it, it becomes a shotgun instead of, like, a, a ranged weapon or anything like that. So, but anyways, not to go off on another tangent for, like, the fifth time. And then Ashley's just gonna sit here and do it. You brain today. <laughs> well, I can't add to the tangent. Sorry. You could totally hey, add to it. You can't come up here. You need a permit. I'm just gonna start talking in D&D with, with all my NPCs. I'm just gonna start talking, like, Bowerstone guards. Please do. Every time someone says anything, I'm just gonna refer to them as hero. Like they, they don't have any more names anymore. Skies. Oh, woe is me. My son is poorly. Or we it's could all take a title. My poor you could, boy. You, oh, there you go. Yeah, high master. I'm gonna eliminate that one. It's gonna. Connor's gonna immediately try and grab that. The witch in Bowerstone Key. To the two world boy, NPCs. But she needs more of the mushrooms before she can cure him. I would find them myself, but I need to look after Aldi. Please, could you help us? Yeah, sure. I'll do the thing that I wasn't paying attention. Did you know what she asked us to do? I think you gotta get mushroom. Oh. Mushrooms from where? What did she say? There was one growing by the tree back there. Does that count? Master. Is it really? No. Oh, no, no, no. That doesn't count. Oh. The two world's NPCs. I just sit here and talk to you like this, like slowly moving back and forth. And then I say every every character or place's name completely differently because they had like 50 voice actors oh, that didn't that work that in the same game? studios. Yeah. Yeah. Cullis Gates. They'll jump between uh, places. It's teleportation. We got a market keeper here. Roses. And there's also, for, for a game like this where you could romance NPCs, you can have kids. You can buy property, become a real estate magnate, like... You can have kids in this game? Not in one. Oh, okay. Well, maybe. I can't remember. I never did you, it in why, one. Why have kids in this game? The one time I actually did a romantic playthrough where I wanted to have someone else, right? Uh, and you had to mod that shit in a Skyrim. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And so, like, yes, there was a lot that Peter Molyneux, like, kind of fucked up and didn't do. But for what was actually delivered for the time... I mean, if you go and look at one of the greatest RPGs ever created for that time, which is Morrowind, even Morrowind didn't have mechanics like that. So, yeah. And I didn't get into Morrowind until, like, four years ago. <laughs> so. There's nothing up here. Oh, there's, this is what I was doing. There's a, a quest in here. I think it's to read to the kids. Can we read to the kids? I think, aren't you participating in a... Oh, hello. Yes. Mr. Gout. Mr. Mr. Gout, the, the headmaster. Of the school here. It's not that it's much of a school these days, the way Lady Grey keeps slashing our funding. Dude, based Lady Grey taken away from education. Can you believe she sold half our She must be an Arizona senator. Mansions were more important than the education of our children. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Anyway, if you could donate any suitable oh, books you find on your travel... Oh, books, books. Okay, ah, let me see if I have some. Have you found anything card, interesting? Perhaps, but, uh, oh, that's right. He reads them to the kids when you bring them. The Tale of Maxley. 
That's right. This is a macabre story. Ah, yes. That's right. If one's spirits to see a hero take such a keen oh, interest in... I'm excited for IAE. Hopefully it's good. I am also excited for IAE. There once lived a hob, and Maxley was his name. He was that rarest of hobs. One with a IAE's brain. International Aerospace Making Expo for Star Citizen. His dream wasn't for him. He'd rather live in a village, there among men. One day he decided to travel to town. He slew a great noble and put on his gown. In Bowerstone by all was he complimented. <laughs> I like the, the kid animations better, here where it's like there's a stare, like erected. directly right here all the way across. There's a step that's just like good what he in front of their faces. Is that showing what's coming? Star Citizen? Voice, no, it's uh, just an you know. expo for all the ships that are they currently available. Out for guards who lopped off his head. It stuck on a it's like a, Dump. a car Dump. show, and basically. Dead. So when you're about to open your mouth, remember, remember Maxley the Hob. Maxley the Hob. For it's better to be thought an idiot than to Dude, be Dude, that's true. That's true. Words to live by. It's better to be thought an idiot than be killed by a mob. Yeah. And remember that, kids. Absolutely based, Mr. Gal, Headmaster. Also, it's a free fly event, and you can try any ship for free. That is true. That is true. Any ship that's in the game. Can I go back and... Uh, I think that we have to go to another part of, um, Beardy Baldy. The sick child. But I have netherite armor. Mobs oh, can't hurt me. Oh, she ate him. She we ate a mushroom. Bowerstone way. key. Yeah, this way. I, I do like the flirt. Like you have a flirt button and like a button to to do farts and shit too in this game. But uh, the flirt in one is your character just leans in and goes, "Hey," like that's it. Hey. Let me see if I can find it. Up, oh, uh, expressions. Social. I really don't like the butt. You don't like the I'm, butt? No. Me when I see a hot woman. Hey. hey. Renown. Oh, floor. Here we go. Here we go. You ready? This is just for you, Tessa. Hey. Hey. <laughs> One more. Hey. Dude. Here you go. Here's one. Very important. Here's one for the uh, the the history connoisseurs for us. Um, Cossack dance is under alignment. Fellas, is it evil to be a Cossack? Hey. <laughs> That's a moral dilemma right there for some reason. All right, so there's a witch over here. That's who I was going to try and talk to earlier. Oh my god. No. Don't tell me. You were sent here by an irritating young lady. The one with the comatose kid. Don't look so surprised. I am a witch, you know. I read tea leaves on Thursday. I read tea Thursdays. leaves on Thursday. Besides, uh, you're not Same. the best fool she sent my way. Find me for all She looks like me. And Dude. I brew up an antidote. But there's no hurry. The stuff won't kill him. Alan, what do you think is uh, is your favorite um, thing that you're going to see at IAE? What do you think, man? So I need to bring mushrooms to her from the forest. Right? I don't remember if she said the forest. Four mushrooms in the land of Albion. Oh, shit. In the land of Albion? Just all over the fucking place? This kid's going to be dead by the time I get back. quest card. There we go. Kick the shit out of that chicken. Okay, so there's quest cards back at the guild, and you get told by the guild master you gotta go back all the time, dude. And Tessa, the guild how- The master talks a lot. He does talk a lot, just like me. How, uh... How is Lies of P going? Is it pretty good? It's like a Dark Souls-esque game. Lies of P is fucking phenomenal. Phenomenal with a capital. Yeah. All right, so we got, I think this is gonna be the game master in here. I don't think this is actually someone we can talk to. No. 
Honestly, contender for better than Dark Souls. Um, as someone who is not a Dark Souls enjoyer, Minecraft would be a contender for dark better than Dark Souls. Um, Tic-tac-toe in a room that's completely fucking dark would be better contender uh, than, you know, better than Dark Souls. Um, uh, Wooly Willy. You remember Wooly Willy? Or, I did not. <laughs> You don't remember Wooly Willy, dude? Wooly Willy is for only for the OGs, bro. Wooly Willy with none of the magnetic wool would be better uh, than Dark Souls. Um, it's like a combination of Bloodborne, Sekiro, and Dark Souls. Uh, Bloodborne is Dark Souls, Sekiro is Dark Souls, and Dark Souls is Dark Souls. So Tessa just told you all of those things that are all the same game. It's like all the same game times three combined. Uh, so just 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 for reference, since you don't know what any of those games are, they're not the same game. They are the same game. Um, they're button smashers, and if you fuck up, the game's over until you load it and button smash again, and then fuck up again, and then button smash again. No, no, Tessa says no. Just two letters and no other explanation. That's how flimsy that is. Did they just tell us to dally? <clears throat> you obviously have never played a Souls game. I have literally played the third Dark Souls. I've played uh, Bloodborne. I watch Uriel play it constantly. I can explain it better through voice. Is that because of all the spelling mistakes? And I also played, uh, you know, I thought that, uh, I'm not going to text a 20 page thesis. Ugh. Average, average, uh... Anytime anyone asks you something about Warhammer... Dude, right? yeah. But I will post a 20-page thesis. What Tessa just uh, said is the average hey. uh, conversation you're ever going to have with someone who plays Dark Souls and enjoys it. Hey, hey, hey. If you keep really still, I can see your skeleton. Dude, oh, people wow. in 1896 when the like? X-ray was invented... <laughs> If you stand really still, I can see your skeleton. <laughs> you bonk big monsters, dude. Yeah. You're from the guild, aren't you? Man, what a place. Uh, if you go back there, maybe you can find our mushroom. Oh, okay, so we got mush. That's how you get the mushrooms. You got to go to all these other quests and do all these other quests. I was standing on those stepping stones in that pool where the door talks. Man, oh, it just flew little... right out of my hand. Oh, are you talking to me? Is this Cheech and Chong? Is you that know, who these two people are? Sound waves can make your heads. If only I hadn't lost my mushroom of truth. Dude, mushroom of truth in the guild. So I guess that's where the first one's gonna be. What do you What do you think about this mushroom of truth? Uh, should we check and see if they got any more titles? You come to the right. Pie Pie Master was the best one we had so far. We got Rune Master and our. R's face. What do you think about R's face? I don't think you have enough. Oh, yeah, we have enough. Um, go for it. You can always change it, right? I don't. Should we, should we be ass face? You think we should? It's your choice. You're the one playing the game. I'm just button mashing. Just like, like Tessa every time she plays anything Dark Souls related. I like Pie Master for now, but we will change it. Cousin says Orchard Ars face is better than ass face. True. Ars face equals ass face, like Sekiro equals Dark Souls. I literally <laughs> knew you were gonna say that. Oh, now I knew this it. one looks promising. I don't button mash. Oh hello. You must be the kid Maze is always talking about. Can't imagine what he sees in you. Still, I bet has a oh, huge mouth. Look at the mouth on this egg. I'm Briar Rose. No doubt you've heard of me. No time for autographs, I'm afraid. You are I so wrong. You don't even know it. Mission. Both games work very Speaking different. Speaking of which, if you came for a quest card, all the best ones have gone already. I'm sure the guild can find you something to do, though. I hear the kitchens need cleaning. Oh, the kitchens need cleaning. The Maybe they have a mushroom. <laughs> me when I'm pulling mushrooms out of the grease trap. <laughs> All right. She cute. Bird. Yes, I like that 2004 animation style with a reskin. So it looks like the they said the mushroom was going to be over here to the right. 
where the stepping stones go. Towards the door. And then there's a chest right there for 20 coins. Or 20 keys. We don't have the key. Um, is it? I bet you it's going to be right there. Ugh, we don't have a fishing rod. God damn it. You need a fishing rod? Yeah, I'm assuming it's going to be in the water. That's how these games kind of are. Look before you... There was a there wasn't a mushroom there. It was just a, a ripple in the water. I know Fable games. <laughs> it's gonna be in the water. The cool thing was is like two and three you get to swim, and instead of like fishing, you just jump in the water and, and dive down. How do you get a fish? I'm gonna go to this guy and hope that Dylon over here has one. Sure, find something to suit you. Is a clothing seller? Oh, okay, gotcha. Items. Let's see what we got. He doesn't got one. Well, looks like this little boy is probably just gonna die of uh, of having uh, mushrooms in his in his belly. Which didn't he eat some mushrooms? And then that's how we got. Wait, what the hell is that? Rise of the yeah, Phoenix. Yeah, but now we have to get the antidote. Oh, she said, "I need your strongest mushroom, Seta. I need your strongest mushroom." The Kraken Catcher. What? The big clucking hammer. It's only... Oh, I guess I have the head banger. Oh my god, should we run around with a loot? Only seven. It's because it does, like, no damage. Oh, does it? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. You got uh, Kraken Catcher. That's 20,000 gold. Look at that. Yeah. And it's actually um, more expensive. It's supposed to cost 12000 This guy's trying to sell it. For 20, that's what yeah. these numbers mean. Read the description of the Phoenix one. Dude, and that sword is change. huge. Was often the description used for this weapon. The name inscribed into the hilt is uh, of the weapon states property of Biffy C. Heard. Crack and catch it. What were we saying? Can't you change what? Oh, can you change... How much they increase the price, like, like for example, a charisma yeah, skill or a yeah, luck skill. Yeah, yeah, so I can do that by pulling out everyone's favorite uh, thing that I have. The, oh, the your wasp reputation. face. Yeah, if I, uh, if I just run around and get all of these people out here. That didn't work. There's one there. Because they're all over here. There's like a shitload of people that were standing in there. The fuck is that? Oh, that's a trophy. So when you kill monsters in this game, unlike in uh, well, the Dark Souls games, when you kill monsters in this game, you get a trophy of their body that you basically parade around and get, um, uh, like you can show people, like, okay, I have this wasp. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Tessus. So like, I'm basically gaining renown. And the more renown you have, the more prices you can get that are like better at stores, um, the better like things are for you to do. Your quest, your quest yeah, rewards. Quests. Yeah, you get better quests. Oh my god, that was twelve motherfuckers right there. You get trophies from bosses. They're just weapons. Yeah, but you can't hold them up and get renown, can you? <laughs> and I think that was literally everybody. I don't even know. You just got two for one. Holy uh, crap! Let's see this guy. You don't need renown. Yeah, you don't need renown when you're the only other NPC that Two actually more. matters. And so, unless you're playing you Elder, Elden Ring. Two more. Oh! And you got time, and it might be stuck, so just. There's one. There's one here. Look at the last Elder one. Bling. I'm not gonna ask. Me when, I, me when I button mash and I put the Elder Bling on my finger. He's not in there. None of those. Seth Bling here. Oh my gosh. Okay, the timer's going now, so... I think it's gonna be this lady back here. The staircase that leads up to the guild door. Maybe. It could also be someone on the other side here, but we'll see Stay what happens. Stay within the law. Stay within the law. Oh, lardy. Don't think we're gonna make it. This law. Oh! I think it's her. <gasps> yes! <gasps> No, do it now, do it now, do it now. Behold my wasp head. You 
only got plus 10 for that, but yeah, plus like yeah. 120 for the other one. One thing that I do like in, in this in these uh, in this franchise, which we'll probably end here actually, because it's getting a little late and we gotta do some shit. Um, is you got these demon doors, which if you solve different riddles, they lead into like better parts of the world, or they're just like extra areas. So instead of uh, sometimes like treasure chests. Right? Yeah, treasure chests, weapons, like like famous things, um, shitloads of gems. Evil rituals. Evil on rituals. One of them, right? Yeah, yeah, you can do all sorts of shit, and some of them count as houses in other games as well. So you get like better housing, um, but you just solve riddles and uh, they're like kind of like Easter eggs. Your you know? path is dark. Only a light will reveal it. You are not bright enough. I think uh, what I gotta do Your here. Is no, dark. shut up. I know, I know, I know. I know. It's just this weird thing. I've got others. Lamp. Use. And then you, hit the and then you talk Your to path him. Is only a light. You need to like hit the lamp with the. Your path is illuminated. No, I just stood there for long enough. Oh. See that. So that. So when you finish one, the face will go away and then the door will open up like this. Open says me middle finger is what it said. Says me middle finger. Where did that come from? I don't know. That's it? just a. That's a fable esque thing that people. You know, like that's just fable humor, dude. If you're not a fan of like British humor or dry things that like you know, that aren't traditionally funny, then uh, you're not really gonna be a friend of, of things like this. That was generated from the game and not like a random mess. Yeah, no, that was generated. That was a thing. Yeah. That was, like someone had to type that in, and someone thought that was hilarious. So there we go. There's a little 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 side room uh, right at the very beginning of the game that you can do by just turning on your light, which is is trivial if you think about it now. You know. <laughs> so we'll get to spend more time with the Heroes Guild next time. Yeah. Yeah. We should. We should be able to. And um, yeah. It just wants to keep targeting that one guy for some reason. So yeah. Thanks for coming by. Um, huge shout out to Tessa Kit. And Ace Allo Seven and Tanner's Seven 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 Seven, which is strange. I've never seen that profile on there before, but you know, yeah, that's a new one. That's that's the new Tanner right there, bro. So thanks everybody for coming by, um, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Deuce. Just for everybody. Wasn't expecting to watch your stream tonight, dude. Could you? Oh God, thank you for making me laugh. You're welcome. You know, you are welcome. Uh. Have a good night, dude. Say goodbye, Ashley. Bye. <laughs> I can actually hit Boob the nights. offline.